Hello, welcome to another video on my channel. Finally, after what seems like months of solid rain here in the UK, we finally get a bit of sun so I can get outside and do a project or two. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some steps. No, not the 90s British pop band. In fact, we're going to be doing caravan steps. A family member of mine is uh, moving out with her boyfriend um, and they're staying in uh, a caravan on their, on his parents' land. They got a few acres of land and they're going to stay there relatively cheap um, in this static caravan. So one of the things my niece asked me to make her is um, a set of caravan steps as they haven't got any obviously. So using some decking board I got and I made some. So I started with cutting out the step pieces first. As there were 10 of these to cut out I thought this would make no sense. I simply measured the first one to the correct size and placed it on top of the rest of the decking, button up the edges and simply cut out to the same size. I repeated this all the way through the process with the multiple different sizes. This piece here I'm cutting out, I, could, I would call the stretcher part of the step, is 740mm long. So when I went to cut this in half, my mitre saw doesn't meet in the middle with the cut, so I had to finish the rest of this cut off with a hand saw. So once I've finished cutting this, I then lined the parts up and marked them ready for drilling. So this is the base. So I drilled the base in, I put four screws in the, into the bottom, and there's the finished base. Next I put the back part on and I used an offcut that I had to ensure that everything was square and level. I then clamped it up into position using two clamps and then simply drilled three holes in the back. I took the top clamp off and drilled another hole there, as you can see. I then spaced out the two side pieces, ensuring they were equal widths apart. And then using some squeeze clamps, I clamped them into position. Next it was to fit in the parts of the stretcher pieces of the steps would fit on. Again I checked that they were flush with the off cup and then simply drilled and put two screws in. The screws that I'm using are actual decking screws uh, for outside use. Then another check to make sure that I had the right space in and everything was square. And then these are what I would call the stretcher parts. So I pre-drilled some holes and simply screwed them into position. When it comes to making sure that they were evenly spaced, I just placed a, a step piece on top and ensured that they sat flush and were level with the back of the step and the front of the step, and then simply drilled and screwed. I don't want to use any glue on this project in case something should break or, or over the time rot. Uh, it can then simply be unscrewed and, and replaced at any point in the process. So this is the bit that the top step is going to sit on. Again, simply just clamped up into position. Held it down with another clamp and drill two screws in the back. I did also drill and screw into the inside of this piece, into the side base, as you can see here, just to keep it down into position. And it's simply a matter of repeating the same process of when I fitted the bottom step parts. Just simply made sure they were sat all flush and level. And I went ahead and fitted the step pieces. Here I'm fitting the two outside ones first because that way when I come to fit the three middle ones I know what the equal spacing between the three step parts has to be.
So the next morning, it was at this point when I was about to um, put the decking oil on that I realised I wasn't quite happy with the, the corners being square so I actually um, looked at it and thought it would be better for them to be rounded off. So the next step was to get the belt sand right and round off the corners. So using a 40 grit sanding belt I went ahead and sanded the corners just to a point where they visually looked correct and level and this is me sanding the foot then. Once I was happy with all that I then used some Wix's decking stain. Um, I simply bought this because it was, it was on offer cheaper. And then I went ahead and coated it all with the decking oil. I paid particular attention to the, the cut sides of the wood and ensured that the uh, the, the grain soaked up all the oil. So there you go, that was the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you might find it useful for yourself if you have uh, uh, some steps to make for a hot tub, again, caravan, uh, maybe up to a, a shed that's raised up off the grain. I don't know. You, you could use these for a lot of things. But um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. No problem with that. Please comment. I like, comment, like getting people's comments, um, like hearing what people's thoughts are. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.